Joining us now from Washington is our political director, John Dickerson. John, good evening to you. Let me ask, if things keep going the way they are for Newt Gingrich, how long does he stay in this race? Well, he's got a lot of challenges. There's a money and a message challenge. He needs enough money to be able to compete in, on Super Tuesday in early March when there are some southern states where he thinks he has a better chance. He also needs to find a way to get news coverage. There's not a debate for almost three weeks. During that dark period, he'll have to withstand pressure from those who say he should just drop his campaign for the good of the party. His former colleague, Dick Armey, who is an influential Tea Party voice, said that Gingrich has turned a second-rate campaign into a first-rate vendetta. That said, John, even with Gingrich's struggles, how does the Romney campaign right now calibrate how much attention they leave on Newt Gingrich versus focusing on the president? In Mitt Romney's remarks after his victory in Nevada, he focused almost entirely on President Obama, but he learned in this primary that he cannot ignore his opponents, so the campaign is still attacking Gingrich. The remaining task within his party for Romney is convincing conservatives they should fully rally behind him. That issue will be center stage at the Conservative Political Action Conference this coming Friday. Ronald Reagan made a historic speech to this group as a presidential candidate, arguing conservatives should back one of their own and not a pale imitation. Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum will be making the same argument about Mitt Romney. John Dickerson, thank you very much.